Now, though these early voting numbers show that many voters are heading out to the polls, for some, exercising that right is a little easier than, uh, than it is for others. Many who are opting for curbside voting, who are eligible for curbside voting, we should say, tell us that they are having some issues about very long waits. However, WIS um, has gone out to check into those complaints to see what is the cause of those long wait times and the confusion that seems to be surrounding curbside voting in some places. You're taking a look at the scene just yesterday at a polling location in Richland County. According to the South Carolina Election Commission, curbside voting is an option geared towards those unable to stand in line due to a disability or being at least 65 years old. However, curbside voting does not require a disability parking placard. Only the voter is allowed in the vehicle while voting unless the voter is entitled to assistance. Now, as hundreds of curbside voters have been hitting the polls, election officials are saying that the long wait times to vote curbside really are not anything new. Our Sam Shapiro tells us what election officials are suggesting people can do to avoid some of those long wait times. Yeah, good after, good evening. Excuse me, Hannah and Judy. I spoke with the directors of voter registrations and elections for Richland and Lexington counties, and they told me today there has been a wait to vote curbside. Now they said out of thousands of voters they're seeing at their polling sites per day, more than 200 of them have been voting curbside. Now they confirm voters waiting in curbside pickup lines have seen wait times of up to two hours at certain points in the day. We caught up with some of those voters around midday today where the wait was about 30 to 45 minutes. Election directors Travis Alexander and Lanise Shoemaker say the wait time for early voters who don't use curbside voting is much shorter and that going to a poll site earlier in the day could mean a shorter wait time. You're not able to only take about two to three machines out at one time and those curbside crews are gonna be about six people. So it's a longer process there. It's just several pages. And so it can take longer when you're voting a curbside um, than you would um, be being able to come into the polling location. So please be prepared to um, be in line a lot longer. An early voting runs through November 2nd, and I'll have some concerns from early voters waiting in the curbside lines this morning. Coming up later on your WIS News at 6.